Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to find mean, median, standard deviation, Q1, Q2, Q3 quartiles and interquartile range. Also, I will discuss how to draw box plot in this case. In this case, we have been given a data of uh, 18 randomly selected adults. That is the age and the body fat is given to us. Given this particular data, we need to find out all these particular measures. If you want to find the median, interquartile range and uh, quartiles, the data has to be arranged in an increasing order. If you look at this particular age column, the age column is already arranged in an increasing order because, but when you look at this particular fat, the data is not arranged in increasing order because the first thing what we need to do is uh, we need to arrange this particular data in an increasing order. That is what I have done first here. So the, now the data is arranged in increasing order, both age as well as uh, the fat. Now we will try to calculate each of those particular metrics. First one is mean. If you want to find the mean of a given data, that is the mean of age, it is always equivalent to summation of xi divided by n, where xi is the sum of all those particular ages divided by total number of ages here. If you add all those particular given ages, it will become 836. The total number of uh, ages given to us is uh, 18 here. So the average age in this case is 46.44. Similarly, mean of percentage fat is always equivalent to summation of xi divided by n. If you add all these particular fats, you will get 518.1 divided by 18, which is equivalent to 28.78 in this case. Coming back to the next uh, metric, that is uh, median. If you want to find the median of the data, there is uh, one thing should be known to us. That is how many number of uh, elements are given in the given data. In this particular case, we have been given uh, 18 uh, examples. The meaning of this one is it is an even number. If it is an even number, we need to take the sum of uh, middle two numbers and then we need to take half of that particular thing. If we have odd number of elements, then we need to take the middle value directly here. Because we have even number of elements, the first we need to take the middle two numbers. In this case, this is the ninth element and this is the tenth ele element of age here. So we need to take the sum of these two numbers and then divide it by 2. That is nothing but uh, 51 in this case. Similarly, when it comes to fat, this is the ninth element and then this is the el uh, tenth element here. So we need to take the sum of these two things divided by 2. That will become 30.7 over here. So this is how we can calculate the median of a given data. Now we will try to calculate the next part that is the standard deviation. So if you want to calculate the standard deviation, the formula is square root of x minus x bar bracket square divided by n where n is the total number of examples x is the current example and x bar is the mean of that particular uh, attribute here now if you want to calculate the standard deviation of age which is equal to square root of the first element is 23 here so 23 minus mean of uh, that is age we have already calculated that is 46.44 bracket square here plus again we have 23 here so 23 minus 46.44 bracket square the next one is 27. So 27 minus 46.44 bracket square. Similarly, we have the last element that is 61. 61 minus 46.44 bracket square. So you just add all those particular numbers over here. Divided by 18. And if you solve this particular equation, you will get 12.85 in this case. That's a standard deviation of age is equal to 12.85. Similarly, the standard deviation of fat is equal to 7.8 that's the first number minus that is mean of uh, fat that is 28.78 bracket square second one is 9.5 minus 28.78 uh, bracket square similarly the last one is 42.5 minus 28.78 bracket square which is equal to 8.99 in this case that is the standard deviation of uh, percentage fat is equal to 8.99 in this case Coming back to the next one, now we will try to find the quartile terms that is Q1, Q2 and Q3 here. If you want to find the first quartile that is Q1, that is nothing but n plus 1 divided by 4th term. That is 18 plus 1 is equal to 19 divided by 4, which is equal to 4.75 5th term over here. That we will consider as a 5th term in this case. Coming back to the second one, that is second quartile term. That is nothing but n plus 1 divided by 2th term. 19 divided by 2 which is equal to 9.5 we will consider it as a 10th term in this case coming back to the third one that is 3 times n plus 1 divided by 4th term 3 into 19 divided by 4 which is equal to 14.25 uh, 
uh, fifth term over here that is nothing but uh, we can consider it as a 14th term over here now uh, that is uh, the q1 of uh, the age q1 of age is equal to fifth term 1 2 3 4 5 here that is uh, 39 uh, q2 of age is equal to that is the 10th term this is the ninth one and this will be the 10th term here that is 52 here q3 of uh, age q3 of age is equal to 14th term this is 10 11 12 13 14th term so that will be 57 over here now coming back to the q1 of percentage fat that is equal to this is a fifth term again that is 26.5 q2 of percentage fat is equal to 10th term actually that is nothing but this one 31.2 here q3 of percentage fat is equal to 14th term that is nothing but 34.1 over here now we have calculated the quartile terms we will try to calculate interquartile range interquartile range of age is always equal to q3 of age minus q1 of age that is nothing but 57 minus 39 which is equal to 18 here interquartile range of percentage fat is equal to q3 of percentage fat minus q1 of percentage fat which is equal to 7.6 in this case coming back to the last uh, thing that is uh, we will try to understand how to draw the box plot over here uh, if you look at this particular age the minimum value is equal to 23 and the maximum value is equal to 61 over here so that is the first thing should be known to us so if you see this particular boundary this is nothing but uh, 23 and the last term over here is 61 so this particular boundary is nothing but 61 over here and the lower part of this particular box plot is uh, the q1 that is nothing but 39 so this will be 39 here and uh, the the upper part of this particular bo box plot is uh, q3 that is 57 the middle line will indicate the q2 that is nothing but 50 in this particular case so this is how actually you can easily draw this particular box plot with a similar note we can draw the box plot for the percentage fat also in this case we know that uh, the q1 is uh, 26.5 q2 is 30.2 q3 is 34.1 and the minimum value in this case is uh, 7.8 here and the maximum value here is 42.5 now if you look at this particular uh, the box plot for this uh, percentage fat the minimum value is 7.8 that is what we have drawn here and the maximum value is uh, 42.5 this is uh, q1 q1 is you can see here it is uh, 26 q2 is uh, exactly here that is uh, 30 and uh, q3 is 34.1 that is over here so this is how actually we have drawn this particular box plot in this video i have discussed how can we calculate the mean median mode and uh, standard deviation how to draw the box plot using the quartile ranges i hope the concept is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.